Hello and welcome. My name is Zach Steinberger, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the Ultimate Soccer Arenas, a soccer store in Michigan. On the agenda today, I will describe the audience, as well as describe the Integrative Motivation Program, and as well as summarize and analyze the factors of this program. And lastly, I will give the recommendations based on the results I ascertained from my interview. Start the audience. There will be four full-time employees of Ultimate Soccer Arenas who are high school and community, community college graduates. They are, work as sales representatives for this company. Their two specific duties are selling soccer merchandise on the sales floor, as well as cold calling in the back room when they're not selling on the main floor. Now Lance Beckman, as you can see here to the right, is the person I interviewed, and according to him, they all have similar perceptions of this job position, which I will highlight later. So to start, all of you in this room are not only unhappy with your job, but you're unhappy with your life. Because as a result, job satisfaction not only drives job performance, but life satisfaction. But with my recommendations and highlighting results today, I think I can turn you in from her into him. And I'm going to show you how we're going to do that. First, you want to describe the Integrated Motivational Program. It's six specific factors that correlate job satisfaction to job performance and life satisfaction. However, the problem. There's a serious problem highlighted within the Integrated Motivational Program in this company. There are four very inadequate factors, and there are two adequate but factors that could use some improvement. I will start with the four, the four problematic factors within the Integrated Motivational Program for this company. It starts with the goals and performance expectations. There are very vague daily, weekly, and monthly expectations. It simply involves the employees to sell the highest price items and completely neglect the lower price items. And when they're not on the sales floor, they're supposed to cold call it using a phone book. And on top of that, there are no goals or benchmarks to set for the employees to know whether or not they've had a successful day, week, or month. The ability to perform, it is impossible for them to perform at a high level because the training is so one-dimensional. It simply is getting accustomed to the products in a one-day training session. Third factor is reinforcement. Being a high performer isn't rewarded at this company. If there's simply a sales representative of the month award, but on top of that, there's no tangible rewards offered, and there's no financial rewards or benefits even offered. The fourth factor is salience. Rewards aren't valued by these employees because it's simply a sales representative of the month award, which doesn't offer any intrinsic motivation or extrinsic motivation. And this is a serious problem. So these are the four very problematic factors for the Ultimate Soccer Arena's company within the Integrative Motivation Program. The next two factors aren't as problematic, but they need some improvement. So equity. The rewards are equitable only because they receive the same core rewards and they receive the same low intrinsic and extrinsic motivation. So the goal is to keep this equitable factor, however, make it a positive and motivating equity as opposed to a negative equity, which is what it is now. Timeliness is the last factor. There are meetings at the, every, at the end of every month, but they're repetitive and not helpful because there are no metrics to gauge whether or not the employees have improved or digressed based on their past month or year. The timeliness is apparent, however, there needs to be a more integrated, personal, and dedicated system. Now that wraps up this, the six factors of the Integrated Motivational Program. Now I want to talk to you about the solution, the three recommendations. This is what the current job training looks like. It simply is an introduction to the products. With my first recommendation, I want to enhance the floor job training as well as the cold calling job training. The floor job training will entail a week of job shadowing as well as training and understanding not only the high price products but all the products. The cold call job training, I want to enhance it by offering a week of job shadowing as well as a classroom session in order to highlight the most important techniques and ideologies in order to get the best results from cold calling. And lastly, I want to narrow the focus of these calls specifically to the soccer community so that these calls aren't made to people who have no interest in, soccer, in buying soccer products. Secondly, there are current rewards, which, is, as I've highlighted before, are just sales representative of the month rewards and no financial benefits or rewards offered. So with my second recommendation, I want to completely improve the reward system. Firstly, I want to build on the sales representative of the month award. I want to change the award to uh, amount of revenue sold as opposed to units sold so that the winner of this award is the person who's doing the most good for the company. The second uh, way I want to improve rewards is offering 10% commission for every product sold 
as well as using a top grading system for the top two sales representatives who can earn an extra 10% commission for that month. And as well as an extrinsic motivational factor, I want all the sales representatives to know that the manager is retiring within the year and they will promote from within the ultimate soccer in the shop, which offers that extra extrinsic motivational factor. Thirdly, the current performance expectations are unknown, which is why my third recommendation is to polish the performance expectations. I want to make the personalized daily performance expectations based on sales and customer satisfaction so that the employees know what they need to do every day in order to have a successful day, as well as give personalized weekly and monthly goal setting to the employees so that they know whether or not they've had a successful week and month. And an accomplishment of these goals will yield monetary bonuses on top of the commissions that they will already be giving based on my first, my second recommendation. And lastly, the feedback will be given weekly, monthly, and annually. And it will be very effective feedback because there will be metrics to gauge how the employees have digressed or improved on the preceding week, month, or year. So in review, I've described the integrated motion motivation program and I've highlighted that there's a serious problem with four of the factors of this program and needs improvement on two of them. But the solution lies within my three recommendations and the rest is up to you. Which leads me to my final point. John Marvin. Here's John Marvin, a 15 year old boy that I knew when I was younger. He had a huge passion for, for radio and he would go in every day trying to get a job at this radio station. And every day the manager turned him down. And this is him 20 years later. Now he's the, he's the most successful radio voice in all of Kansas, as the manager of that original radio station, as well as the manager of all the radio stations in Kansas. And this is due because he had the opportunity, just like my recommendations have given you the opportunity today. So now it's up to you to see how far you can take your opportunity. Thank you.